All right, let's get to the details now. Vice President Dr. Mahmoud Balmia has arrived in Kintampo to commiserate with families and victims of yesterday's disaster at the Kintampo Falls that claimed about 20 lives. At least 20 students on a session from the Wenchi Methodist Senior High School in the Bunahapu region were killed when a falling tree crushed them at the site during a storm. Parents of some of the victims have flocked to the hospitals to check on their children, and we'll bring you a lot on that uh, shortly. But Elton Brobe, our presidential correspondent, joins me on the telephone lines now with more of what the vice president has been saying and doing. Hello, Elton. Yes, please. Walk us through the activities for the vice president in uh, Kintampo today. Yes, yes. Hello, Elton. Is is it possible for you to uh, reposition? Because we can hardly hear you. Hi. Hello, Elton. Hi. Okay, we're having difficulties hearing Elton Broby right now. We'll check on that and try to get him to reposition and bring you up to speed on what's happening. But we do know at this point that the vice president has been saying that government will wait for the outcome of investigations into the cause of the disaster. Well, here is a resident who rushed to the scene after hearing about the death of his niece. He spoke to our correspondent, Anas Sabit. There was a huge storm that sent lots of items flying around. Then we heard news later that a tree had fallen at the waterfalls and killed some students. I rode on the back of my motorbike and rushed to the scene. When I got there, I saw the bodies of the students spread all over the place. Some of them attempted to run, but they were also hit. Right there, we could count about 16 bodies. We wanted chainsaw machine operators to come over and cut the trees into logs because the tree is quite huge. We could see some of the students trapped under the tree. We were able to retrieve the body of one of the students. He was dead. Some of the injured were rushed to the Kintampo government hospital. When we got to the hospital, doctors and nurses there took the patients in and treated them. My own niece was one of the people killed. I'm now at the mortuary to speak to the pathologist. I have lost a knee. That's the voice of one of the parents of the victims there. Uh, let's speak to Elton, whom we've been able to raise back on the line. Hello, Elton. Can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you. Okay. Walk us through uh, what the vice president's activities have been since he arrived in Kintampo and what next he's going to do. Yes. We are heading to the waterfall itself. We are, we are heading down the road to the waterfall. Now, early on, the vice president met with the uh, Kintampo North District Assembly. The president was used about the incident by the one half original minister. According to the Minister of the uh, Geography uh, class of the West Virginia High School, they were returning from the Northern Regional Capital at Tamale after an excursion. So uh, the visit to the Kintampo Waterfall was more like for refreshment. But, but. Hello, Elton. We lost Elton there. It appears that the network in that area is not very stable. But like we said earlier on, the vice president has been saying that government will be waiting for the outcome of investigations because they want to know the cause of that disaster. We can listen to the vice president now. On a very sad note, very, very sad note, we hear on behalf of the president, Nana Adodankwa Akufuado, who is currently not in the country. Uh, I spoke to him this morning and told him of our intention to come here immediately. And we arranged uh, to come here to see what has happened and then to mourn 
with the bereaved families and all of us because we are all part of one family which is the family of Ghana. So this bereavement uh, which we have lost 18 young men of women really at the prime of their lives learning trying to make a difference to their lives and to this country we've lost them under very very tragic circumstances we have to continue to pray for their souls as we mourn with their families this is a major loss not only for Bronga Hafu, but for all of Ghana. And may their souls rest in peace. We are here uh, to show solidarity uh, and to, to mourn with, with all of us as we are all breathing. We cannot understand, and these things are very difficult to understand. And so we will allow the necessary investigations to take place whilst we try to see uh, what we can do for the families. Thank you very much for your attention. Well, today fire officers at uh, the back uh, at the back of the they were back at the scene and PRO of the Kintampo Fire Service Kweku Boating addressed the media a while ago. He narrates what happened. We had a call that uh, a tree has fell uh, around um, Kintampo Mighty Water Force and quickly our men respond and instantly during the rescue operation, we were able to rescue 17 trapped dead bodies. Uh -huh. And then in addition, we had one in addition. And a confirmation from the Kentampo Municipal Hospital also added additional two dead bodies. As I'm speaking now, we are having 20 dead bodies. Confirmed. And then confirmed. And then... Um, 11 casualties so two were seriously injured and were transported to techiman municipal hospital as i'm speaking now they've been also transported to kumase for immediate attention so how many do we have currently at the king temple hospital currently uh, i could say we have we had eight mm. eight currently and the king temple yes at the king temple hospital responding to treatment okay any idea what caused the uh, felling of the tree any what actually happened uh, what i can say is uh, looking at the Kentampo Mighty Water Force, the place was surrounded with uh, big trees, as I can see. And now, due to much bush burning, left with only two big trees around. And looking at the trends of the incident, it was only that tree that could what. Uh, 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 serve as what a uh, wind break but due to the much heavy wind it couldn't and that caused that serious incidents okay so um for now are you allowing uh, visitors uh, in, into the falls or you've taken for now we've not uh, we don't want to allow vi visitors to come around mm -hmm. as we are still on our operational activities as this morning to we are here to do rescue search to find out if there are more victims so that is PRO for the Kintempo Fire Service there. We've got both Elton John Bilbe, who is our presidential co correspondent, and Anas Tabet, who is our correspondent for the region, on the line now. I'm going to have them tell us on both sides what's happening. Elton, let me try and finish up with you. You were telling us about Vice President uh, uh, Dr. Baumier's activities for the day. You have moved from where you are. Where are you right now? We are heading to the Kintempo Water Force itself. We are, we are not far from the place. Uh, okay, we're going to have to... Members from the Ministry. 
Elton, if I get you, you're moving from where you are to the Kintampo waterfalls itself, the vice president. Yes, yes. The vice president wants to have a first hand view of what the place looks like, and then we'll be told exactly what happened yesterday. We'll be told uh, by the regional minister and authorities here what uh, caused the accident and resulted in the death of eight people. What he is asking them to do is to take him to the exact spot so he can be brief as to what may have happened. Okay. What, 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 what they are saying is that yesterday's storm was so heavy that they ended up approaching so many trees. And from the far deck of the waterfall, a huge tree came down, crashing the rivulet, killing 18 and injuring 15. And as of, as of this morning, they called up the rescue ex the rescue exercise because they are convinced that the numbers uh, they got uh, was the same number that were at the port yesterday. Now, from the port, we moved to the hospital where at the Then, early on, we gave one family that lost. Uh, you know, a member, one adult, or say, uh, uh, an undisclosed amount of money to, to, to help them organize the funeral. Because according to the family, uh, they've not lost a, a family member before. So in the custom uh, of beers, they, they have to do the burial services within the week. So they plan to do it this coming Friday. So the government will help them in that particular process. But the bigger picture is that the government will, will wait for the investigation being conducted by the police and the personnel of the Ghana National Fire Service to complete their investigation, brief government so that they will take their next step forward. But for the tourism minister, this will not deter the ministry to close down the force. They will to open it up for people uh, to go there and have fun if they saw it. But they will put in place a security measures to ensure that people who go there, uh, their lives will be protected. Okay. Thank you very much, Elton. Elton Bobe is our presidential correspondent there following the vice president who is in the Kintampo uh, town trying to you know, commiserate with the family. We understand that he's, well, just so, just in case you couldn't really hear um, Elton, uh, the vice president, we understand, has been donating some undisclosed amount of money to some of the families who have lost their loved ones. And they are right now moving to the Kentampo Falls itself from where they will go to the hospital where those who were injured are being uh, kept and being treated as well. I've got Anas Sabet, who's uh, uh, Eastern Regional Correspondent, on the telephone line now. Um, hello, Anas, can you hear me? Oh, I can hear you. Okay. I know that you've been following the families. You've been following uh, what's happening in the hospitals. Let's start with the hospital. How are those injured uh, uh, responding to treatment? Well, uh, when we go to the hospital, they are all in, uh, you know, I can say they are all responding to treatment. Uh, two others uh, who we were told were in a critical condition have been referred to uh, to two men for the family hospital, and those are here according to uh, health professionals, we are all responding to treatment and hopefully we will be discharging them soon. Okay. And um, what, we're looking at uh, 11 people. That was what the, the, the figure given by the fire uh, service personnel. Is that correct? Or are some people better to go home at this point? That's yes, the number. And out of this 11, we were told Two of them have been transferred to or uh, yes, referred to the okay. hospital. So we can say about nine of them are still here with the King Tampo uh, Minister Hospital responding to this. Okay. And let's look at the families. How are they keeping up? The families, uh, well, uh, some of them have expressed shock. Uh, they never experienced a big blow to the family, especially the, looking at the age of uh, the uh, uh, children or the parents involved, you know, most of them are students of uh, when they met the senior high school and uh, in their teens. And this, uh, to most of the families, we were able to see it uh, came as a very big shock uh, to them. But uh, they will only give thanks to God uh, and uh, hope in the near future nothing of this sort will happen to anybody within uh, the region. Mm. Earlier, we understood that there was a RECSEC meeting ongoing. What was the outcome of that meeting? Yes, uh, the fire service was there uh, early this morning when I got there, and uh, their mission was uh, they did their rescue last night, and uh, got deep into the night late, so they had to break and then resume the uh, uh, mission this morning, ho hoping uh, if there had been anybody trapped uh, in the water, they will be able to uh, rescue uh, that particular uh, person or body 
but uh, after the search, uh, they, ended, uh, they, they concluded that there's absolutely nobody uh, trapped in there. So the mission, uh, they, they, they confirmed to me that uh, they are through the uh, rescue mission and there's not been any additional, you know, uh, body to treat us at this moment. Okay. And, and, and what, what's happening with the place? We understand, uh, I mean, just Elton was just telling us that it won't, the place won't be closed down according to the Minister uh, uh, of Tourism and that it, they would rather put in, uh, put in measures that will ensure that people are safe. But what is the, how was the scene, like, what's the atmosphere at the, at the uh, Kintan Port Waterfalls like at the moment as we speak? Do you know? And like you said, the minister made mention of uh, the future, in, in the near future, there's no way, or the tourism ministry is not you know, closing down the uh, facility completely. But as, as now, the place has been closed uh, and then uh, out of, you know, service to uh, the public. We have police men or police personnel uh, manning up the area, ensuring that people or the public do not get in there. To uh, uh, you know, get themselves exposed to uh, the threat or the danger there. So it's, it has been closed until further notice. Until the police is true with these investigations, and then until they are able to clear all the you know dangers uh, around that, so uh, it will be open uh, for the public to have access. But as we mm. speak now, it's only available. Or it's only open to the security agencies as well as the media who. Uh, allowed to go in there and then ascertain the uh, intensity of the uh, accident yesterday. It's mm -hmm. not open to the public for now. So finally, before I let you go, what are uh, what um, is management of the uh, the waterfall saying? Because there have been issues about uh, maintenance in that in that place. What are they saying to this? Can we come again, please? There have been issues, concerns raised about the maintenance of the place, of, of the, uh, the Kintampo waterfalls. What are the managers of the place saying? Do we know who the managers are? What are they saying? <laughs> we were unable to speak with uh, any of the uh, managers. In fact, when we got there, we are told that uh, uh, those uh, you know, handling the uh, facility for now have all been asked to leave the premises to aid or to enable the, the, the security agencies okay. to continue with their investigation. So we are yet to review with any, uh, you know, step taken by management. The what we know from people who have been speaking with, uh, they've been suggesting that uh, they, they, there should be, you know, serious, you know, cleanup at the top there because most of the trees, according to people who are there, are weak. They are old enough uh, and uh, they're capable of falling. In fact, I counted close to 20 trees that fell off. Uh, as a result of last night's rain. So they want the authorities or management to go through and then ensure that all any tree that is, uh, you know, weak should be cut, put off, and then and tree should be erected uh, to, uh, you know, deal with the situation in the future. Okay. Thank you very much. Anas Tabit is our, I, I made a mistake in the beginning, is our actually a BA, but we don't have a regional correspondent there helping us with that information. Earlier we spoke to Elton Bobe, who's following Vice President um, uh, Mahmoud Baumia in that place as well. We'll bring you updates on that as we move ahead. But uh, Minister, earlier uh, today, Tourism Minister Katrina Feku spoke, uh, interacted with the Kintampo District Assembly over the disaster. And to support the families who are bereaved, but also to give that spirit that yes, it happened, and give us an opportunity to put modalities in place, the modalities that we were employing for domestic tourism. We need to go there to give these young men and women, our fallen heroes, that spirit of recognition that in their quest to see what is beautiful and what is nice about Ghana, they met their untimely fate. It will also give us an opportunity to fix. We are going to introduce a safety audit across all tourism facilities in the nation. Uh, find a way to link up with meteorological service. I was just informed by the commander that we are offices in Sunyani. So we collaborate with our colleagues here to ensure that they may, if possible, have a district office. Because with this edifice here, the waterfall, the weather plays a very big role in ensuring the traffic to the site. Uh, we are also to inform you, uh, the Vice President of the Republic, will be joining us soon so we can all together solemnly visit the families of the police and give them that hope that never again will we lose 18 of our future years.
that is tourism minister Catherine Afeku there. But well, let's move on this with this discussion. Then one of the questions that have come up is whether or not people believe in spiritual things like prophecy. Apparently, there was a prophecy a week ago about this uh, accident during a radio prayer program by one prophet uh, Randolph. So could this have actually been averted? We'll be having a conversation. But first, watch this. Jesus. Jesus. I see a school on a trip to Kintampo. One of them is listening to me right now. The trip must be cancelled because they are going to die and God doesn't want that to happen. This trip must be directed elsewhere. I'm talking as a prophet of God that this trip must be cancelled. You know, your friends say, Excursion or Moon Director. Jesus. I'm talking as a prophet of God. About me, who will be a man. Jesus. For me, some common is come from the Jesus. The sun come to me, yes, I was as it's from me, what the hope, and me boom at him. Now, my duty was as it's me, yes, I was as it's never come to my company. You know, you mean, but so better also. The more some cry. Sha. Moon chest are tripping. Munchasa to Moko and Tampo, Road Nusso, Sakwano, Sasuna Kwanos, and Anasa. Sasuna Kwanos, Munchum Munchasa to Pilmamunko. Mukama Kunko former, a pair of vampire. Jesus. And it will be called so soon soon. Yes. There's a sabot twelve. I can't five minutes now, but twelve. Yes. Soon soon I've been that. That is the conversation i feel like a prayer session that was ongoing uh, on a radio station in the ashanti region we'll be having a conversation on that whether or not uh, you believe in prophecies and whether or not this prophecy uh, if he that too could have uh, averted uh, the sad incidents that we're having now but for, for now let's look at what president akufado is saying about what's happening what, what's happening well he's been tweeting and at his handle nana akufado says my deepest condolences to the families of all those affected by this unfortunate and tragic incident and he goes on to say i have learned with great this was the first one actually but i have learned with great sadness the unfortunate incident that occurred at kintampo water force yesterday and that's uh, on the second the second part of that conversation actually is that his deepest condolences to the families of those affected and uh, by this tragic and unfortunate incident this is still the pause with me gifty and